In this quick tip, I'll show you how to offset your audio tracks in both Pro Show Gold and Producer. When you add music to a show, by default, the first song in your soundtrack and your slides will begin to play at the same time. But what if that's not exactly what you want for your show? As an example, in this show, I have a title slide that appears before my images, so I don't want my music to start right away. Instead, I want my music to begin here, where my images first appear. By adding an offset, I can tell Pro Show to wait before playing my music. To add an offset, first, let's click on the Timeline tab just above the slide list and toggle over to the Timeline view. Now, I'll click to select the track, then I'll press and hold the control key down as I click and drag the track over to the right. For this show, I'll drag it over far enough so that my music begins after my title slide. Now, if my show has more precise timing needs, I can also add an offset by double clicking on the show's soundtrack. Here, in the track settings area, I can manually type in a number. In this case, I'll type in 10.5. This will tell Pro Show to wait 10 and a half seconds after my show begins before it plays this track. When you have more than one song in your soundtrack, audio offsets can also be used to enhance your storytelling. In this sample show, I've split my story into two parts. Within each part, I have music and imagery that convey very different moods and use different energy levels. For my audience, changing styles suddenly might be a little jarring. So rather than have one song end and the next immediately begin, in the timeline view, I'll select my second song, press and hold the control key, and click and drag this song over to the right. Now, when my audience views the show, they'll get a break in between songs, which will help make the change in energy feel more natural. Back in our sample show, once again, we see that one track ends and the next track immediately begins. Previously, we added space between these tracks by using an offset with a positive value. But we can also apply an offset with a negative value and move these tracks closer together. Let's double click on the soundtrack. And in the soundtrack list, let's select track number two. In the track settings area, let's type in negative three for the offset value. By adding a negative offset value here, we're telling Pro Show to begin playing the second track three seconds before the first track ends. This, of course, is the foundation for a crossfade. We can see the tracks now overlap each other. All we need to complete the crossfade is to apply fade values to each song and blend them together. You can also apply an offset to your slide sounds which can really come in handy when using sound effects. Using Pro Show Producer, I've applied a slide style that uses keyframes to create a camera flash effect. I've added a camera click sound effect as a slide sound, but as you can see, the click happens long before the actual flash. So, let's add an offset to make the sound line up with the effect. Looking at the keyframe timeline, I can see the flash effect starts here, at the four second mark. I can also see that my slide sound begins here at the one second mark. So in this case, I need to apply an offset of three seconds. Let's click the slide sound tab and in the timing area, set the offset to three seconds. When I toggle back over to my layer effects, in the keyframe timeline, I can see the flash effect and the camera click sound are now lined up perfectly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our blog and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.